Hey crafty fans, it's Alex Vanover. Welcome back to my craft room. This is a video that was previously live on my YouTube channel and I've now taken it and edited it down into a shorter, more concise version just for you. So if you hear me read someone's comment or welcome somebody to the live, now you know that's why, but otherwise this is just like any other tutorial. So let's get into it. Hey YouTube, it's Alex Manover back with DIY Alex and today I am so excited to craft with you with the new badge reels that 143 Vinyl just launched. So if you are joining me, if you could let me know if you can hear me okay and see me okay, that would be amazing. Give me a couple seconds to share this out on Facebook and then we are going to get started. I'm going to show you all the badge reels and then I'm just going to craft with two of them quickly today. Um, it's really super easy. I'm going to be using UV resin and it's awesome. So in case you guys are not familiar with what badge reels are, they are um, just little tiny acrylic shapes that you attach to the front of a literal badge reel. So a lot of people carry these for work if you have locked doors and stuff like that. And you're just going to super glue them onto the front of this and they make such cute gifts. They make great gifts for nurses or any profession really that is um, carrying these. I used to carry these for almost every job that I think I've ever had. So it's pretty useful for a lot of different reasons. So um, 143 also has badge reels in black and white, and they are both linked in the badge reel category. But yeah, so you just put your um, badge on here, and then you have the pull tab right there. But this whole front is blank, and that's what you're going to glue. Whatever acrylic shape you choose, you're just going to glue it on to the front. So that's how those work in case you're not familiar with bad reels. So let's take a look at some of these shapes. So first there is a sunflower shape. So stinking cute. There is a football. And by the way, all of the files are already up on 143 vinyl. So you can totally go craft with these like right now if you get them today, if you're a local pickup customer. Here's a mini paw. Um, so another difference between the badge reels and the keychains is that there's no hole in the badge reels because obviously they don't have to hang from a key ring so they don't have one. Um, but that's another difference between the acrylic blanks they already have and these badge reels. Here is the horseshoe one, which I'm super excited about because my mom rides horses and I used to too. So I'm totally going to make one of these for her. Here, I think this one may be called Jersey. Kind of reminds me of like a basketball jersey. This is the EMS star. So if you have an emergency medical worker you want to make this for, that would be amazing. Here is the cow. You guys, this cow is so stinking cute. This is one of the ones I'm going to craft with today and I am so excited. This guy is so cute. Like you guys have to see this file. You're going to die. It's so cute. Here is um, the one that I believe on the website is listed as the scrub, um, but I think that you could make this into a t-shirt of any kind, really. So I really love the versatility of a lot of these shapes because just because a file is labeled one way does not mean that that's the only way that you can use it, you know? So there's, I think, like I said, I think this one is called the scrubs. Yeah, I got a couple other horse people here too. Oh yeah, I got a second paw. Here is a football helmet, which is great for any of you football fans. I'm from Cincinnati, so I'm a die hard football girl. I love that. Here is the stethoscope heart. If um, I know this is kind of a funky shape, this is the, st the stethoscope out to this side. So if you have any nurses or doctors, I think that this would be a great one for them as well. Hey, Corinne, thanks for joining me. Yeah, she is loving them too. They are literally so cute. You guys, look at this bee. How amazing would this be? How amazing would this be? Be with Michael's um, like bee themed printed patterns. This would be so, so cute. Yes, exactly, Corinna. A sports jersey of any kind. So there's like the t shirt, but then there's also this shape of the jersey, which I know is a little more like basketball y. But either way, you could turn this into any kind of sports jersey, which I love. And then last but not least, there is the circle. So I do want to point this out too, because I found this um, a little bit confusing on the website. The file is labeled as lemon under the badge reel downloads um, page. And I'm going to be crafting with a lemon, but this circle shape could be literally anything. So that's all of the badge reel shapes that they have for now. So I'm going to set all of these aside and I am going to be crafting with the lemon and the, um, the circle, I guess the circle and the cow. So I'm super, super pumped. So to get started, the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is remove the white film that comes over top of all acrylic blanks to keep them from getting scratched. 
<laughs> yeah, Tracy says she loves the bee. I know, Corinne, like literally so many options right out of the gate, which I absolutely love. Here's a pro tip for working with acrylics. I always like to leave the film on the back side in case you get any UV resin on the other side. It's really helpful to just be able to peel the, um, peel the other side off. So I'm going to be working with UV resin. Lumino, I believe is what this is called, is my favorite brand. This is the one I always use. And I'm going to start by putting glitter on the um, cow in the circle, and then we'll put the vinyl over top. So the way that I like to do this is, oh shoot, I got to put my gloves on. Safety first, my friends. <laughs> got to add my gloves real quick. UV resin is super sticky, but if you ever need to clean it up, you probably won't be able to do a whole lot after it's hardened. So always clean it up before you um, put it under your UV lamp. But the way that I like to use, um, the way that I like to clean up is using baby wipes. That's always my best strategy. So whenever I'm mixing a glitter into UV resin, I like to put my UV resin into a little medicine cup and you really don't need much. So you don't want to overdo it. If you can help it, you can always add more. And then I like to mix my glitter directly into my cup. I just think that that makes a much more even, um, layer rather than putting the UV resin on and then sprinkling the glitter over top that never ends up very even for me. So I'm just going to use a popsicle stick and for the cow, I'm going to make him a brown cow. So I am using boardwalk, which is Starcraft glitter, but it does have a little bit of a holographic sheen. So he's going to be a sparkly cow. He's going to be an excited cow today. <laughs> and then for the lemon, I am actually going to be using pina colada, which is one of the new chunky glitters from Starcraft. And, um, I have some vinyl to go over top of them. So you guys will see what they look like here in just a second but I think that it's gonna look really, really cute. And basically I just like to mix it in and then when I'm deciding if I like how it looks, I just kind of pick it up on my stick and see if that looks thick enough to me. So I think I might add a touch more glitter. And if you ever get it so that the UV resin feels real thick and kind of globby, you can always add a little bit more. That's the really nice part about working with UV resin is it's really, really flexible, guys, honestly. It's really tough to mess up. Um, I want to personally, oh shoot, see guys, that was way too much glitter. So I'll be adding some more UV resin. I want to personally shout out Ashley Jones for enabling me to buy this color. I mentioned that I thought this looked very similar to the color Mermaid Kisses. And she was like, no, Alex, no, 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 no. You need to buy Pina Colada in addition to Mermaid Kisses because it's way better. So I'm really excited to try this color, you guys, because I haven't tried it yet. So there we go. We fixed our texture a little bit with pina colada. So next I'm going to try something a little bit different. I ordered some silicone brushes from, um, from third degree laser and they kind of look like makeup brushes, but basically what I'll do is I'll use these to add the glitter to my UV resin. And then this way I can put them under the UV lamp and I should be able to just peel the UV resin right off. That way I'm not constantly using disposable things that are creating lots of waste. So I'm excited to try these out and see how these go. So basically the way that I like to do this is I just basically push the UV resin over to the edges. Nothing too crazy there. And since this is a circle shape, if you guys have never worked with UV resin before, a circle is about as easy as it gets. Rebecca said, is the new stuff on 143? Yes, ma'am, it sure is. And it's also linked in the description of this video if you wanna get a direct link to each of these things. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do over here on the circle. And then I'm going to take a little more time to do the um, glitter on the little cow because I have to make sure that I work it into all of the little bumps on the top of his head, the little horns and everything. So I'm gonna make sure I get a good even coat. Hey Irma, I'm glad you're here. So again, I'm just gonna use my silicone brush and basically just, whoops, now I'm touching my circle. 
messing it up? Okay, so I'm just gonna push my glitter to the very edge. One of the really nice things about working with both UV resin and epoxy is that it has a really good surface tension. So it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like water in that way. And that's why it's so easy to just push the glitter to the edges with the UV resin in it. And it'll pretty much stay on the edge as long as it doesn't bubble over. So that makes it pretty easy to craft with, honestly. If you guys have ever been intimidated by UV resin or epoxy, let me know in the comments. Oh, another thing that I wanted to address is typically when I'm working with UV resin or epoxy, I typically do wear a um, respirator. I don't when I'm live with you guys because it's very hard to understand me and it's also very hard to talk through them. So I am a little more lenient when I'm live with you guys, but typically when I'm working alone, I always wear gloves, of course, for safety, and then I always wear a mask. A bare minimum, I would recommend that you wear an N95 mask, but ideally, you need to purchase a um, a respirator and you can do that. The one I have is on my Amazon store under my epoxy supply list. If you are interested in working with the stuff and you want to check it out. So I'm just making sure that everything looks even here. It also is very much self leveling. So there's not a ton of work to do to getting it perfect. But if you do see something, of course, you can always fix it before you cure it. So there's not quite as much glitter out on the horns as I'd like to be. So I'm just going to redistribute my UV resin a little bit and see if we can even that out. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to put the silicone brushes on this little silicone trivet that I have so that I should be able to peel stuff off very easily. I also have, hey Rosie, thanks for joining me. I also put my UV resin back in the bottle so that, um, or sorry, back in the box so that it doesn't get exposed to the UV light and accidentally harden your entire box of UV resin. Ask me because I've done it. <laughs> And now we're going to go ahead and use our UV lamp. This mint lamp is also from 143 Vinyl. I love it. And I linked it in the description as well. So I'm just going to lift it right off the top and stick it over top of my silicone um, trivet here. And I'm going to press it for, let's say, 60 seconds. I'll probably end up doing two rounds of 60 seconds. And then I'm going to not stare directly at it <laughs> while it's curing. that is the uv resin literally just peels right off my silicone brush okay i'm in love <laughs> definitely trying that again because that is so easy and then i don't have to throw popsicle sticks away all the time i love that oh my gosh where have these been all my life okay so now that these are cured they are a little warm but that's okay i'm gonna go ahead and weed this vinyl and put it on my blank so I'm going to start by peeling away. So this is the little lemon um, UV resin file. This thing is so cute. And the reason I linked opal vinyl in the description of my video is because that is what I am using. So I decided to use opal vinyl on the lemon because I thought it would be such a pretty color. Um, so then I'm going to, I had to look at this and make sure <laughs> that I peel away the right piece. I think I peel away this outer piece and you kind of leave the slices of the lemon in there. Do you guys ever look at a file and you're like, so which piece am I supposed to peel away? So I'm going to be using clear medium tech transfer tape. My gloves are going to make it really difficult, <laughs> really, really difficult to get this off here. Yeah, I might have to take one glove off. I was trying not to do that because I have to use UV resin again, but it's just too hard to craft those gloves. Rebecca said, what's the machine on the left? 
Rebecca, this is a UV lamp. That's what you use to cure UV resin. You can also use the sun, um, but it just takes a lot longer. So I really like having a UV lamp because I just think it's much more time efficient. And that is also from 143 Vinyl. They are normally not as cute and minty as the ones at 143, but I absolutely love this lamp. Okay, so we've got all of our little pieces with clear medium tack transfer tape. I'm just going to cut them apart and apply them. Easy peasy, but y'all can hear me. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go over top of my lemon and do the best I can to center it. There we go. Oh my goodness, you guys, look how cute. We'll make sure nothing is coming over the side. Oh my goodness. Looks like I had a little bit of a drip over the side, so there's a couple of bumps in there. But y'all, how cute is that? In person, it's a lot easier to see. Okay, yep, the nostrils go at the top, which is what I suspected. I gotta, sorry guys, I gotta lean my head in here a little bit because I gotta be over top of my blank here. So I can see, a little tricky. There. That's pretty close. <laughs> Okay, it's a little off, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. He's still gonna be super cute. Okay, so there's the nose. All right, and then we add the little eyes right there. And we're gonna cover everything with UV resin so we don't have to worry about burnishing like crazy. Where should we put his little pupils? You think kind of at the bottom? Make him look a little innocent? <laughs> there we go. You guys, look at this cow! Oh my gosh! Like literally, look how cute! <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. It's so cute. I cannot even handle it. All right, let's get some trash out of the way. So here's what we've got so far with the lemon and the cow. We still have the film on the back. So now I'm just going to take my UV resin bottle and squirt some directly on the top. Because when I'm not mixing glitter in, there's no reason to use a medicine bottle. Just use a little bit. And then we can use the same silicone brush and just push it around. Nice thing about this top layer is that um, you can really just kind of push it around. It doesn't need to be super thick to cover the vinyl. We're just making everything even. Because if you left the vinyl on the surface, that probably wouldn't be the worst thing. But basically, we're just here to kind of smooth it out, if you will. All right. And another thing, I know you guys can't see me do this, but I like to um, kind of get down. Like, let me show you. <laughs> You guys are going to think this is a little silly, but what I like to do is I like to get down level with my, um, with my UV resin stuff and like look at it in the light and see if I see any divots or anything that I need to go in and fix or grab. I think these look pretty good. There's a little bit of a spot over that eyeball that needs some love, but yeah, that looks really good to me. All right, so I'll put you guys back overhead. There you go. Oh, did you see that? 
I might not have switched you over, but I got down <laughs> even with my UV resin and I'm gonna stick my silicone brush again underneath here. And I'm gonna move these to the center a little bit so that they make sure that the UV lamp doesn't hit them. I saw someone ask in the comments where I got this silicone brush from. Um, this is from Third Degree Laser. ThirdDegreeLaser.com is where I got this from. Okay, so we're going to pick up the UV lamp and give it another minute. And then we will see what happens. Cute. So if you guys are interested in trying any of this stuff, I did link everything down in the description of this video. Um, also with my coupon code, you can use ALEX5, so all caps, A-L-E-X-5, to save 5% on your entire order. So if you wanna try these things, I definitely encourage you to. I think it's a lot of fun. Make sure that you pay attention to safety and do what's best for you. If you ever experience yourself not feeling too good after you use UV resin or epoxy, then stop immediately. Stop immediately. Never ever continue if you don't feel well. Um, most people that I know are fine when they use epoxy and UV resin. I myself have never experienced any negative side effects, but that's just something I want to say because I know a lot. Like there will be a people that will there will be a group of people that will come for me on YouTube and say that epoxy is super dangerous. But honestly, guys, I've never experienced any of that. My husband is a scientist and I actually asked him to read the chemical information on the website and he told me that he felt perfectly comfortable with me using it. So that's just a personal opinion. I'm not a professional, not a doctor, anything like that, um, but that's just my personal opinion. So make sure you, that you look into safety um, before you get started. And if you ever notice anything crappy, stop. You know, as soon as you notice it, don't do it anymore. So, and I think that's pretty self-explanatory for most things. You know, if you ever notice something bad, don't continue it. But I just wanted to say it because you never know. All right, so I ended up doing a minute and 30 seconds on this one just to make sure that the UV resin is fully cured. So now I can remove my gloves because I'm finished with the UV resin part of things. And I am going to go ahead and flip these guys over. I'm gonna peel off the white film and see some of my UV resin dripped over to the back. That's exactly why <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I um, kept the film on. Y'all, look at Pina Colada, how sparkly. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so cute. So all I'm gonna do is take a badge reel like this. I'm gonna spread some super glue, whatever adhesive you choose to use. I'm gonna be using E6000 today. I'm just gonna spread some super glue across the back and then add my badge reel to it. And then of course you'll have to let it cure. It won't be ready right away, but um, that's it. I mean, it's really that simple. And I would be generous with the glue that you're using, but don't go all the way to the edge so that you don't have anything squish out from the back. And we'll do the lemon first. I'm just going to try to center it on the back of the lemon the best that I can. And push it down. And y'all, that is it. It's really that simple. Like I said, I'm gonna have to let this sit. The nice thing is if you don't get it perfectly centered, E6000 or any super glue does not dry instantly. So you can kind of, um, you know, you can make sure that you take the time to move it into the right place, but that's it. It's that simple. <laughs> Michael said, Pina Colada is giving me life. Agreed, agreed. It's so stinking cute. I know it's a little bit hard to see um, in the lights, but there you go. In person, you can definitely see the lemon slice. So I'm gonna leave this face down so that it can cure. And then we'll do the cow and we are all finished. I think I'm gonna actually use a black badge reel on the cow. Sorry guys, I hope that's not too loud for you. Okay, so I just set my badge reel right there. Want to make sure that it's square with the bottom. 
I'm gonna squish it down. This one's a little bit closer on the edges, if you guys can see that. I have a little less room, so I'm gonna be careful about moving him, you know, too much while it's curing. But how stinking cute is this? Ah! So make sure you guys shop the badge reels if you're interested. Everything is in the description below. Don't forget to use Alex5 if you wanna save 5% at 143 Vinyl. What did you think of this project? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. If you haven't already joined one of my crafty fans on Facebook, then I would love to have you be a part of them. So I'll be sure to link both of my Facebook groups down in the description. And since you've made it this far in the video, then I would love to get to know you on social media. So please be sure to find me at DIY Alex Vanover on pretty much all major social media platforms. And I'll be sure to put direct links to all my profiles down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more just like it, then be sure to subscribe to the DIY Alex YouTube channel and be sure to ring the bell so that you get notified every single time that I put out a new video every single week. But don't wait for next week's video. Be sure to check out this one next. Or if you want to make your DIY dreams come true, be sure to check out this video. I know that you're going to love it.